Did you know that Saturday is not the Sabbath? No, Saturday is not the Sabbath day. And Sunday is also not the Sabbath day. Saturday is the seventh day in the man-made calendar. Yes, Saturday is the seventh day in the man-made calendar. This is a man-made calendar. This is a Catholic made calendar. This is a Roman calendar. This calendar was made by this man, Pope Gregory. Pope Gregory is the one that made this calendar. This is not God's calendar. This is not the calendar that, that the God's people, the Israelites, was using when they came out of Egypt. They did not use a man-made calendar. Our Creator actually created a calendar. When God created this world, God also created a calendar. And according to Genesis chapter 1, verse 14 to 16, Psalm 104, verse 19, Sirach 43, verse 6 to 8, the book of Jubilees, chapter 2, verse 8 and 9. If you look at these scriptures, you will see that God created the sun and the moon to be the calendar. The moon is God's calendar. That's why the physics of the moon changes every night. That's where the word month came from. Month. That's where the word month came from, from the moon. The moon is God's calendar. If you want to observe the Sabbath, you have to use the moon. New moon day begins the month new moon day begins god's month and according to ezekiel 46 verse 1 to 3 we are supposed to worship on the new moon day so when the first crescent of the moon comes out it comes out on the new moon day we worship on the new moon day the next day we go to work we work for six days and then we rest on the seventh day on a sabbath day the moon is going to look half no matter where you are the war in the world the moon will look half on the sabbath day the next day you go to work you work for six days you rest on the seventh day and the moon will be full you observe your sabbath the next day you go to work you work for six days you rest on the seventh day the moon is god's calendar stop keeping sabbath on saturday saturday is not the sabbath if you want to keep the sabbath you have to use the moon the moon is god's calendar There was a question that one of the sister, sisters asked. She asked, um, how do we know when the new moon day is going to be in the future? Like say six months from now, say you're planning to travel or you are planning an event and you want to make sure that that date is not going to be on a Sabbath day because we don't want to travel on the Sabbath. So how would you be able to know? Is it possible? Yes, it's possible to know ahead of time when the new moon will be. It's possible due to the technology that the Most High have given us. So using this technology, we are able to know ahead of time we're able to, you can actually look and see when the new moon day is going to be. It's not going to be 100% accurate. It will not be 100% accurate. It might be 90% accurate. But at least it gives you an idea to try to move away your traveling date. It is what I'm about to show you if you know how to do it, it will help you a lot. So if you're planning an event or traveling next year or in six months or in about three months and you are worried, you don't want that date that you choose to happen to be on the Sabbath and you want to avoid that, okay, the best thing to do is to go online go online or use your phone the lunar app that we have on our phone you can either use that lunar app open the lunar app on your phone and i will show you how to identify when the new moon day is going to be because once you know when the new moon day is going to be that will allow you to know when the sabbath days are going to be because the Sabbath day is seven days from the new moon day, seven days after the new moon day. So if you're traveling in about five months from now, if you have plans of traveling five months from now, 
and you want to make sure that the date of your travel does not fall on the Sabbath, all you need to do is to find out the new moon on that month. So for example, I will go to right here in Google and I Google moon giant. Moon giant. This is moon giant. Um, as I Google moon giant, I click on moon phase calendar. You either click on this one to which it brings you here on this page, as you can see. So I click on this calendar. Uh, if I click on the main, on the, on the, on the home, home screen, it takes me into this. But this is not what I'm looking for. If you do come in here, you can, you can come over on the right and click on uh, monthly moon calendar right here. And this on the third one, monthly moon calendar. And it brings this out. Okay, so uh, what happens in this situation, and I'm going to try and see if I can remove the ads. Okay, so I am able to, um, what I want to do is to go into, say, for example, um, in about five months from now. So say I want to travel in April 2022. I click here. This is December. This is January. I'm trying to go to April 2022. Okay, so this is April 2022. I think I will actually, for the sake of clarity, for sake of clarity, I think that I'm going to choose a different date and I have a reason for doing this. Um, I'm going to choose, uh, let's go to the next one. Okay, just bear with me. I want to, I'm trying to, go into 2022. So what I'm trying to do is that I want to do something in April 2022. I want to do something in April, but I want to make sure that the day I chose in April, that day will not be on a Sabbath day. That's my concern. My concern is that that day will not be on a Sabbath day. So how do, how do I make sure? That's what I'm trying to find out. Um, I apologize about too much ads. There's a lot of ads just blocking the way and interrupting. So what I want to do is to go to April. Just bear with me as I scroll over to April, January, February, March, April. So this is April 2022. So I'm interested in this because I want to, I want to have a party but i don't want that party to be on a sabbath day or i want to travel but i don't want to travel on a sabbath day so all i have to do is to come to moongiant.com or to open the lunar app on my phone and go to april 2022 then you open the lunar app on your phone the moon app on your phone or you go to moongiant.com 
moongiant.com and I come to April 2022. What I want to do is to find out when will the new moon day be? And from what I'm looking at here, it looks like new moon day is going to be. Um, when will the first crescent of the moon come out? Because typically the first crescent of the moon comes out on the evening of the new moon day. The first crescent of the moon comes out on the evening of a new moon day. So I click on April 1st. I mean, I see here April 1st, it says new moon. If I see the moon here, if I see the first crescent of the moon here, that means that Sabbath will be seven days after this. If the first crescent of the moon comes out on Friday, April 1st, then I start my count from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This will be the Sabbath day. I'm not going to start my count from when the first crescent of the moon came out because that day is a new moon day. Because the Most High says, walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. Walk six days and rest on the seventh day. So I don't know what's going to happen in April. I have no idea what is going to happen in April. 2022. I don't know. So that's why I came to this website or open a lunar app on your phone and go to April 2022. So come in here at to April 2022 to see when the new moon day is going to be. Because as soon as I see when the new moon day is going to be, I know that the Sabbath day is going to be seven days after that. From what I'm seeing here, it says that New Moon Day will be on April 1st, Friday, April 1st. Friday, April 1st will be a New Moon Day. That's what I see here. So what I do is to start my count, count six day, uh, seven days after that. I cannot count this because this is a New Moon Day. This is not a work day. The Most High says walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. Walk six days. And rest on the seventh day. So this is a new moon day. I cannot count this. So since it says that the first first or first of April, Friday, is going to be a new moon day. Then I start my count the next day. First work day, second work day, third work day, fourth fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, seventh day. That's a Sabbath. So seven days after the new moon day. But you can't start your count the day after. One, two, three, four, five, six. Because the Mosai say walk for six days. This is new moon day. You walk on this day. 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 And then this is the seventh day. So this right now, I now know that to be safe, I shouldn't put any event on April 1st or April 8th or April 15th or April 22nd. I shouldn't put anything here. So I'll try to make my, my traveling date or my event date to be on these days. I will definitely avoid April 1st because that will be a new moon day. I will definitely avoid seven days after. That's a Sabbath day. I will avoid all this stuff. And this you can do. You can do this even six months ahead, even four months ahead. You can do this. And this is so convenient. I love this. Because it definitely gives you peace of mind. You are able, you are able to know that okay i can plan this event i can plan this travel and it doesn't have to be on a sabbath day do you know what it means to buy a plane ticket only to get close and find out that that day is a sabbath day i have lost money 
with airlines lost money have lost money with airlines um, buying plane ticket and never using it to travel so um, it's good to to be able to do this it's good to be able to know you know so this is april 2022 you know i'm not we're not in 2022 yet depending on when you're watching this video depending on when you're watching this video we're not in april yet and yet i'm able to have an idea because all i need to do is to find out when is the new moon day going to be and i came to april 2022 you can do this from your app too you can do this from the lunar app on your phone that lunar app on your phone and if you don't know what i'm talking about download the lunar app download it go to android store google play store and type in moon phase app moon phase app if you type in moon phase app you download one of those apps for free it will help a lot to help you a lot when you download that app you're going to be able to see something like this so because new moon day as i see here is going to be on april first when we know that new moon day is the worship day this April is still way ahead of me, months ahead, ahead, months ahead. So this technology, this app, this website helps me to be able to know. I will definitely not put anything on this April 1st. No, I'm not going to schedule to travel on this day. I'm not going to buy a ticket to travel on this day. I'm not going to put any event on this day. Because it's a holiday. It's a new moon day. And I also know that because this is a new moon day, the next day I count. First work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, the seventh day, Sabbath. So I avoid putting any events here. Now, let me click on this, actually. Please, my brothers and sisters, especially those of you, if you're watching this and you're not familiar with using the, these apps, pay close attention because I'm about to take you to a different level right now. What I do, I started with basics. I started with the basics. You open the app, you see New Moon Day. That doesn't mean that that's actually the New Moon Day right there. And I'm going to go to the next level right now. So I'm just going by basic of what we saw or what we see here. So you can also click on this, whether you're doing this from your phone or this website. You can click on this and they will tell you the percentage of this moon. That will really help. Like if you really want to be precise, if you want to know precisely, This for me is already enough. Just seeing that New Moon Day is going to, it, it says New Moon Day right here, April 1st. I already know that seven days after will be a Sabbath. So I already know that if the New Moon Day is on a Friday, then the whole four Fridays will be taken, not available. If the New Moon Day is on Saturday, then the next four, four Saturdays, not available. If the New Moon Day is on Thursday, then the next four Thursdays, not available so i will avoid create putting any event i'll put an event maybe right here or right here to be safe here here or here i wouldn't put any event here on sunday or here so now well, let's go to the next level let's slowly dive in let me take you even deeper we just went through the basics, the surface level, based on what you just saw here in surface. Now, let's see the percentage. Let's see if the moon will really 
really, really come out. So if I click this, you can do this too from your phone. If I click this, I just clicked it. It says 0%. See, April 1st. April 1st, new moon, 0%. 0%. So it's impossible to see the moon. Let me go back to this. April 1st, 0%. So it's impossible to see it when it's 0%. It gives us a little bit more detailed information. Phase details for April 1st. Phase new moon, illumination 0%. Age 0 0.23 days. It gives you all the information. So the thing right now is that um, the moon will be 0% on that April 1st. It will be zero percent, and this means that this the next day is also going to be a new moon day. So we go to the next day, which is April second. So let me go back here. Um, Go quickly to April, February, March, April. So now, so according to what I see here, the moon is going to be 0%. The next day, it will be 2%. So actually, the first crescent of the moon will come out the next day. So my brothers and sisters, especially those of you who are new to this, if you are new to using the moon as your calendar, I want to say something to you. If you are new to this, please listen carefully. The first crescent of the moon appears in the evening of the new moon day. The first tiny crescent of the moon appears in the evening of the new moon day. So if you want to know when the Sabbath day is going to be, five months from now, five months from now, you're planning to travel, you're planning an event, you're planning a party, you're planning a feast, you're planning a wedding or a funeral. And you want to do it five months from now. I want you to know that the first crescent of the moon appears in the evening of the new moon day. So what you should be looking for and the only thing you should be looking for is when will the first crescent of the moon come out? When will, in this six months from now, through this app, using these apps, using this app or using this website like moongiant.com, you can tell when the first crescent of the moon will come out. The website or the app you're looking at my say new moon. But that doesn't mean that the moon will come out that day. The day that the moon comes out is also a new moon, according to scripture. The day that the first crescent of the moon comes out is a new moon day. Let me see if I can show you that. In the book of Enoch. Enoch 
Enoch 77.14. So I want to show you that if you are traveling six months from now or five months from now and you want to find out when the Sabbath days are going to be, six months from now all you need to do is to find out when is the new moon day when does the first crescent of the moon come out six months from now now if you look at enoch 77 14 enoch 77 14 says and when it is wholly extinguished its light is consumed in heaven and the, on the first day it is called new moon on the first day it is called new moon for on that day light is received into it on the first day it's called new moon new moon new moon new moon for on that same day for on that day, light is received into it. So that day that the first tiny crescent of the moon comes into the moon, like you see here. The first crescent does not come out here. The first crescent comes out here. The first crescent of the moon comes out here. Let me show you again. If you look here, in where it says new moon, if I click it, zero percent zero percent that's april first now look at the next day april second april second here two percent full april first zero percent next day two percent So the first crescent of the moon will come out on April 1st, 2021. And this is what you should care about when the first crescent of the moon comes out. Because like it says, and when it is wholly extinguished, its light is consumed in heaven. And on the first day, it is called new moon. The first day when the light is consumed, it's called new moon. For on that day, light is received into it. On that day, light is received into the moon. For on that day, light is received into it. So if we come back here, all you want to do, all you're looking for is when did the first crescent of the moon came out? When does the first crescent of the moon came out? That's all you're looking for. In this case, the first crescent of the moon will come out on first crescent of the moon will come out on April, second of April, 2021. That's when the first crescent of the moon will come out. And Sabbath is seven days after that. Sabbath is seven days after that. So, because the first crescent of the moon did not come out here, this is a new moon. And this is also a new moon. And Sometimes in these apps, and I have to say this, this is very important to avoid confusion. Sometimes on these apps and websites, they will actually call a Sabbath day a new moon day. Because the Bible tells us that this is a new moon. That the day that light appears into the moon is the new moon. The day that light appears into the moon is the new moon. But unfortunately, Gentiles don't understand that. 
the heathen don't understand that. They just don't understand it. So I don't want you to be misled or confused because it says new moon here. There are some days that your app might say a new moon, but that day is actually a Sabbath day. That day is actually a Sabbath day, the last Sabbath of the month. And yet, if you look any at, at these apps or website, they will tell you that, that it's a new moon, as you see. It's telling you it's a new moon. But actually, a real new moon is the day that the light comes into the moon. The next day after that is the first work day of the week. Next day after that is the first work day of the week. So this is the real new moon right here. That's when the first crescent of the moon will come out. April 2nd. April 2nd. So. March, April. So, this is the real new moon day, the day the first crescent of the moon comes into the moon. This is not a work day. So, the next day, you go to work. You work first work day of the week, second work day of the week, third work day of the week, fourth work day of the week, fifth work day of the week. Wait. Okay, this, this, is, this right here, the first crescent of the moon comes out here. So, you don't count this as a work day. You do not count this. You start your count the next day after. If you are looking at July or June or April 2022, and you're planning to travel or to host an event, you don't want to host it on a Sabbath day or on a new moon day, then find out when the first crescent will come out. The crescent will not come out here. The first crescent will come out on 2nd of April, 2022. So this is when the, this is when the first new moon day, will, first crescent will come out. So we don't count this. What we do is that the next day we start our count. First work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, and then the seventh day. This will be the Sabbath. Because Sabbath is always seven days from the time that the first crescent comes out. Sabbath is seven days, seven days from the day that the first crescent comes out. The Sabbath day is seven days after the first tiny crescent of the moon comes out. Whenever the first tiny crescent of the moon comes out, the Holy Sabbath day is seven days after that. Seven days after you see the first tiny crescent of the moon. So whenever you want to know when the Sabbath day is going to be, all you have to do is to find out when is the next first crescent of the moon. When is, it, when, when is the first crescent of the moon coming out? And then you count seven days after that. You don't count that day. You don't count that day. Because if you count it, then you're counting, or, 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 or you're counting it as a work day. It's not a work day. So the first crescent of the moon will come out here. This is a new moon day. Beginning of the of this month right here. The first crescent of the moon will come out here. You don't count this. You start, if, if to, to get to the Sabbath, you don't count this. To get to the Sabbath, this is the day that the first crescent of the moon will come out. You don't count this. You start from here, the next day. First work day of the week, second work day of the week, third work day of the week, fourth work day of the week, fifth work day of the week, sixth work day of the week, and then the seventh day, and the moon will look half. That's your Sabbath. Seven days from the first crescent, that is your Sabbath, first quarter, first quarter moon, first quarter moon, the moon will look half, no matter where you are, worldwide, no matter where you are in the world, no matter where you are in the world, the moon will look half, that is your Sabbath. So I know that if I'm doing something in April, if I'm thinking of doing something in April 2022, if I'm planning an event, I would definitely avoid, avoid these two days, Friday and Saturday. That's how I like to do it, just to be safe. I will just avoid, spe specifically, 
this Saturday, being that the first crescent of the moon came out here, I will avoid it because that's a new moon day. I know that seven days after that is a Sabbath day. The moon, the moon will look half. So I can look at this. I can look at this right now and tell you that that Sabbath will be on Friday, on Saturdays in April 2022. I can only, I, I already know. Based on what we're going through right now, I already know what's going to happen in April 2022. Sabbath will most likely be on, on, on Saturdays. Because all I care, the only thing I'm looking for when I'm looking at the future, when I'm trying to travel or planning an event or planning to do something, and I want to make sure that whatever I'm trying to do will not be on the Sabbath. All I need to do is find out when is the next crescent of the moon. For that month that I'm looking for, when is the first crescent of the moon? In this case, the first crescent of the moon will come out in Saturday, April 2nd. That's 2% moon. So, okay, I see that. So if I want to now count to get to the Sabbath, I start from the day after. One, two, three, four, five, six. These are the days that the Mosai told us to walk. The Mosai said, walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. Walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. Walk for six days and rest on the seventh day right here. And the moon will look half. The moon will look half. You observe the Sabbath. Next day you go to work. You work for six days. You work for six days. You rest on the seventh day. And the moon will look full. The moon will look full. Next day you go to work. You work for six days. Then you rest on the seventh day. And the moon will look half again. Next day you go to work. You work for six days. You rest on the seventh day. Oh, this is beautiful. Look, 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 look. So you see that these are Sabbath days, right? Now look what it says here. New. You see? Even though this is a Sabbath day, it says new. That's what I was trying to tell you about these apps and this website. So as you can see, the first crescent of the moon comes out right here. The first crescent of the moon comes out here. And I see that. That's April. Second, April 2nd. So I count seven days after that. One, two, three, four, five, six, six working days. Six working days. And then I rest on the seventh day. And the moon will look half. That's in April 2020. Next day, I continue. Walk for six days, rest on the seventh day. The moon will look full. Okay, so I, I'm not going to put anything on this on April, 2nd of April, because why? Because the first crescent of the moon will come out here. This is a new moon day. And I know that the, these days are all off. I cannot travel on these days or schedule anything on, like for business. On these days, they are, they're out. So that's how I'm able to know. I can put any event I want to put right here or right here or right here or right here. You know, these days in between. Or these days in between. Or these days right here. So that's it. That's, that, this is for, I'm going to uh, go to a different, a different uh, if I go next, if I go to, let's say, let's say it's not in April. Let's say you want to do it in some other or that let's let's go even further so maybe you don't want to do it in april you want to go do it in in may or something you want to do it in may or maybe you want to do it in june let's look at june 2022 um look at june or i can even go as far as going to 2023 actually yeah, that would be fun. So let, let me keep screw, let me keep going. Going into 2023. 
I'm just going to go into 2023. OK. So. Um, go to. Into 2023 and I'm going to go to. Um, I think I should go to the same April 2023. I looked at April 2022. Oh yeah, let me look at April 2023. And what I'm trying to do here is just to see, and I'm thinking about this event that I will do in April 2020, this, this travel I will do in April 2023, or this event I will do in April 2023. And you know that's man that's 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 more than a year from now that's definitely more than a year from now so how will i be able to know well i am when i tell you guys that i'm grateful and thankful to our heavenly father for these apps or this technology google YouTube and Google and Skype, all this technology, your brother here is so grateful and thankful to our Heavenly Father. I am very grateful that the Most High allowed us to have these technologies. Listen, in the past, <laughs> in the past, it's impossible for us to be able to do this. It's impossible. You know, I feel like going to 2024. Let's go to 2024. Just, just to show you how, how this can be done. I'm trying to scroll right now and jump into 2024. I want to plan an event in 2024. Uh-oh, it says site can be reached. Okay, site can now be reached. Okay, so let's keep going. I want to scroll over to 2024 just to give you an idea. Um, you see how good this is, how you can be able to tell, um, you know, when to be able to make your plan properly and not have it be on a Sabbath day. Um, you know, so it, it's let, let me keep going. I want to see uh, where I can. Uh, um, yeah, I want to go into 2024, actually. 2024. So this is January 2024. So January 2024. That's when I'm thinking of doing this event. I'm not really thinking of doing anything then. Okay. I'm just give, giving you an example. I'm just giving you an example. Okay. So uh, let's say I'm planning to travel in January 2024. Or I'm planning to host an event. Or I'm planning to, I don't know, I'm planning to do something, planning some kind of an event in January 2024. And I don't want it to be on a Sabbath day. I don't want it to be, to, for that event to be on a Sabbath day. So what do I do? Very simple. Again, you open the app, the Lunar app on your phone. Actually, if you're watching this on video, Look under this video, you will see a link to download those apps. If you happen to be watching this thing on YouTube, and you're hearing my voice on YouTube right now, if you look under this video in the description, you will see a link that you can use. If you don't see that link, simply go to wherever you download your apps. Go to your app store. To your Android Play Store, where you, you know, the place on your phone where you download your apps, go there and look for Moon Phase app. Moon Phase app. Type in Moon Phase Moon P H A S E. Moon Phase app. P, that phase is P A P H A S E moon moon phase app they are usually free 
Usually they are free. And when you download them, you're going to see something like this when you download those apps. Or you can go to moongiant.com. 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 And look for moon phases. When you come into moongiant.com, you look for moon phases. Moon phases. And you click on it and it will bring you into this. So I want to travel in January 2024. I want to host an event January 2024. And I want to know, I want to make sure that that date I want to do the event will not be on a Sabbath. So all I'm looking for is to see in this January, when will the first crescent of the moon come out? I'm already seeing here, it looks like the first crescent of the moon will come out on January 12th. The 12th of January, 2024. That's when the first crescent of the moon will come out. I can see it right here. Right here. See? That's the first tiny crescent. The first tiny crescent of the moon. So, because the first crescent of the moon will come out, that's a new moon day right here. That day that the first crescent of the moon comes out, that is a new moon day. Look at Enoch 77:14. And the when it is wholly extinguished, its light is consumed in heaven. And on the first day, it is called new moon. When the light is wholly extinguished, when the light is wholly extinguished, Its light is consumed in heaven. So there's no more light in the moon. When the moon is like this, dark, dark. When, when, and when it's, it, when it is wholly extinguished, like a fire extinguisher, you put out fire. When it is wholly extinguished, its light is consumed in heaven. No more light in the moon. And on the first day, it is called the new moon. For on that day, light is received into it. For on that day, light is received into it. For on that day, light is received into it. Light received, light received into it. That day, light is received into it. That is a new moon. That first light right here, I'm looking at January 2024. January 2024. And all I care, I don't care about any other thing. All I care is to see when will the first light come into the moon. Because I know that seven days after that, that's a Sabbath right there. January 2024. I can see here by looking at the app or the website moongiant.com. Moongiant.com. And by the way, I have no idea who owns the website. I have no idea who owns these apps. But one thing I do know that is that they are helpful. They are not 100% accurate. This is not 100% accurate. What I'm showing you here is not 100% accurate in terms of this website. But it gives us an idea. Because when you see this, I guarantee you, January 2024, the moon will most likely come out in April, to April 12th. Most likely. Most likely, the moon will come out in January, the 12th of January, 2024. That's when most likely the moon will come out. And seven days after that is a Sabbath. So remember that I'm thinking of traveling in January 2024. Or I am thinking of doing an event. Or maybe you, maybe you are planning on traveling January 2024. 
and you don't want to set your buy your plane ticket and then it turns out that that day is a Sabbath day. Because the truth of the matter is that nobody right now, we are not even in 2022 yet. We're not even in 2023 yet. Well, it depends on when you're watching this video. It depends. You may already be in 2022 right now. Or you may even be in 2024 already. It depends. I'm just giving an example. What I'm telling you here is just an example. An example to give you an idea. First thing is to let you know that, yes, it's possible for you to be able to know when the Sabbath days are going to, to have an idea when the Sabbath day may be, when the Sabbath day might be. So in that way, you can make your plans properly and avoid stress. Avoid stress because it can be very stressful when you plan something and it turns out to be a Sabbath day. It turns out that that day is a Sabbath day. It can be very, very stressful. Very, very stressful. So it's good to have an idea. So in that way, you can plan, your, plan yourself properly. Because sometimes you find yourself in a situation where you have to plan ahead. Sometimes you find yourself in a situation where you have no choice, but you have to select a date. You have to choose a date for something that you're planning to do, for an event, or for whatever other reason. It does happen sometimes. So it's very helpful to know that you can simply go on the internet and type in moongiant.com, moongiant.com, or download the apps on your phone, Moon Phase app, Moon Phase app. It's helpful to know that you can download these apps and be able to uh, and be able to open it and go to 2024 or 2025 and be able to have an idea when the new moon day will be, when the first crescent of the moon will come out, and then you can plan properly. So since I'm already here in January 2024, looking at this right here, like as I said before, and I just to let you guys know, I am actually deliberately repeating myself. I'm going to be repeating myself. I'm going to be repeating myself. And I'm going to ask for your forgiveness. I'm going to ask for your forgiveness. Especially if you already understand what I'm talking about. Please pardon me. The reason why I'm going to be repeating myself is for our brothers and sisters who are not familiar with this. Who might be watching this for the first time. Okay, so the, the, you might already be hearing what I'm saying for a long time and you are already used to it. Just so bear with me, please. Pardon me and bear with me as this is being recorded, mainly for the sake of those who will come across this in the future. So I might be repeating myself sometimes. Like, for example, I keep telling you that all you need to do is to find out when will the first crescent of the moon come out? The reason why I keep saying it over and over again, because it's very important. In order for me or for you to know, in 2024, to know when the Sabbath days are going to be, to have an idea, all we need to do is to look for the first crescent of the moon. You can go to any of these apps or websites and type in 2025. All you need to do is to find out when is the first crescent of the moon. Even for next month, if you want to have an idea when the Sabbath day is going to be, find out when was the last Sabbath, when was the first crescent of the moon. Because if the first crescent of the moon comes out today, if the first tiny crescent of the moon, the first silver moon, if the first crescent of the moon comes out today, today, then tomorrow is the first work day of the week. Because the Most High told us in Exodus chapter 16 from verse 16 to 30. Exodus 16, 16 to 30. Exodus 16, 16 to verse 30. The Most High told us to walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. 
walk for six days and rest on the seventh day. That your sixth day count has to start from somewhere. You can't just all of a sudden just start counting one, two, three, four, five, six. No, you have to start counting from somewhere. Where do you start counting? From when the first crescent of the moon comes out. Whenever the first crescent of the moon comes out, the next day you start counting. You start counting. So this is a new moon day because the first crescent of the moon usually appears in the evening of the new moon day. The first tiny crescent of the moon appears for the first time. The first crescent of the moon of the month. The first moon of the month. The first day of the month. The first tiny crescent of the moon appears in the evening. That day that the first moon appears. That day is called New Moon Day. As you can see in this scripture. That day, light is received into it. On the first day, it is called the new moon. For on that day, light is received into it. Enoch 77.14 So all I need to do is to find out. In order to know when the Sabbath days are going to be, all I need to do is to find out when will the first crescent of the moon come out. In this case, I am right here in 2024, January 2024. And I'm looking at this. It's showing me that the first crescent of the moon will come out on the 12th of January. Friday, January 12th. Friday, January 12th. So that's a new moon day. So I start my count the day after. First work day. Second work day. Third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, seventh day. So the Sabbath will be right here. The Sabbath will be right here. So I already know that this, this Fridays will be Sabbath day. So I'm not going to put any event on January 2024. Friday, January, January 12th. I'm not going to put any dates here. I will not plan to travel on this because I know that the first crescent of the moon will appear on this day. That's a new moon day. I cannot travel on this day. I know that seven days after, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days after the first crescent is a Sabbath day. I'm not going to travel on this day. Seven days after, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's a Sabbath day. I'm not going to travel on this day or host any event. So it's Friday, New Moon Day. Friday after, Sabbath day. Friday after, Sabbath day. That is seven days after. New Moon Day, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven days after the New Moon, new moon Day is a Sabbath day. Seven days after New Moon Day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a Sabbath day. I will avoid scheduling anything on these days. I can schedule stuff on these days, but not on these days. Why? Because the first crescent of the moon came out here, and seven days after that is a Sabbath. So I will avoid these days altogether. I might even decide, you know what? I want to schedule something else a few months after. So this is uh, February 2024. So uh, let's keep going. March 2024. April 2024. Uh, So, May 2024. May 2024. So, let's say I am, I'm planning an event. I am planning an event. 
in May 2024. That's a long, that's a, uh, that's, that's still like more than two years ahead right now. I'm thinking of planning an event two years from now or three years from now or six months from now. The concept is the same thing, my brothers and sisters. This is very simple. So all I have to do is again, go to one of these websites, moongiant.com, or you go to your phone and download one of these apps that you should already have as a Sabbath keeper. I recommend these apps. I like this website too. I didn't get to like it in the past, but I like it. It's still helpful. I thank the Most High for technologies like this. The Most High is the one that allowed us to have these things. Uh, keeping up his promise in Daniel chapter 12. Our Heavenly Father is keeping up his promise that he made in Daniel chapter 12. That's all. That's all he's trying to do. He wants his people to have these technologies to make life easier. That's why he gave us petrol. He gave us crude oil. He gave us crude oil and we use it and we refine it and we get fuel. We get gas. We get a, a jet fuel. The Most High gave us steel that comes from the ground. We're able to make iron and build cars. The Most High gave us sand on the ground. We take the sand, we heat it up. We heat up the sand into a high temperature. We heat up that sand and the sand will begin to melt. It melts and then it turns into glass. That is how glass is made. Glass is made with a sand on the ground. So all the materials we have today, our Creator gave them to us. He provided us with everything we need. He provided us materials we use for food. He provided us drinking water. He provided us uh, goat's hair or sheep's hair, wool and stuff to make our clothes. My brothers and sisters, just like your father, just like your heavenly father provided us with all these things, the same way he provided us with technologies like this. We have website like this and the moon apps, Google, YouTube. We have this social media and this technology, even your phone. We have it because the Most High wants us to have it. Our Heavenly Father wants us to have these technologies. That is why we have them. There's no other reason why we have them. And it's to make life easier. We don't have to be walking around or walk for six months in order to travel to a different country. We don't have to go into the boat and sit in boats for three months, sit down in a boat for three months in order to go from America to Africa. Actually, it takes longer back then. Right now, we have this massive, massive shipping container boat, huge boat, highly, with, 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 you know, with, 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 you know, all this technology. And yet, it still takes it months, months to travel from America to Africa. It still takes it months. So, imagine back then, it took even longer. So I want you to know, my brothers and sisters, just in case if you're wondering, wow, what is this? How can you be able to sit here and know how is it? How can this thing be accurate? Is it accurate? It's not 100% accurate. It's about 90% accurate. The reality of the matter 
is that if you look at this and you make your plans, you're not going to fail unless if you put it too close. So, for example, this is May 2024. This is how I do my plans when I'm traveling or when I'm when I'm trying to avoid putting something on the Sabbath. What do I do? Let me let me show you what I do. When I come to, for example, to this app or this website, when I come to something like this, you know what I'm looking for? The first, when will the first crescent of the moon come out? If the first crescent of the moon comes out, like as you see here, Thursday, the first crescent of the moon will come out on Thursday. Thursday. I already know that seven days from seven days after will be a Sabbath. Seven days after will be a Sabbath. So here, May 2024, not 2021, not 2022, not 2023. I am looking at 2024 to show you how you can actually look into the future. And don't worry yourself, the Most High knows about this. He's the one that allowed us to have these technologies. So what I do is that if I'm thinking of traveling or planning something in 2024, what I will do is just look for the first crescent of the moon in this month. So I see here that Thursday, Thursday, 9th of May, Thursday, 9th of May, that's when the first crescent of the moon will come out. Because it can be very irresponsible and very, very stressful if I go and make plans in May, May 2021. I'm sorry, May 2024. You might buy a plane ticket. You might buy a train ticket. You might buy a bus ticket. You might be scheduling an event, a feast, a wedding, a funeral, a party. You might be scheduling something. As a law keeper, you should always check, do something like this that I'm showing you how to do. Do something like this just to make sure that the date you are going to choose for your event will not be on a Sabbath. Because I'm telling you, if you ever choose a date and it happens to be on a Sabbath day or on a new moon day, I'm telling you right now, you are going to be stressed out. It will be very stressful for you. Why will it be stressful? Because you are a Sabbath keeper. So if you go and buy a plane ticket without doing something like this and to find out, you buy a plane ticket and then later on you find out that that day you're supposed to travel, so it's a Sabbath day. You're not going to travel. It will, it will stress you out. You know, so it's always good to do something like this just to know, be sure. So, for example, I mean, if I come here, if I look at this, the, 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 the app on my phone, I look, up, look at those apps on my phone, the same app that you have, or when I come to moongiant.com and click on moon phases. In that case, all I'm looking for is the first crescent moon. It says here that the first crescent will come out in May, 9th of May, May 9th. I click, I, I, I see that it will be here on May 9th. Then I start my count the day after. Remember, you don't count this day. The Most High says, walk six days, rest on the seventh day. You cannot count this as a walk day because this is a new moon day. This is the day that the first crescent of the moon came into the moon. The first crescent of the moon came into the moon on this day. So I start my count the day after. New moon day right here. First crescent of the moon comes in. Next day, I start counting. First work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, seventh day. So now I have an idea that in May 2024, Sabbath is going to be on Thursdays. Sabbath will be on Thursday. Thursday, May 9th, it's a new moon day. Thursday, May 16th, will be the first Sabbath of the month. The first Sabbath of the month, right here. 
May 9th, 2024. May 9th, 2024. New moon day. First crescent of the moon. First crescent of the moon right here. So I know that the next day I start counting. First work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, seventh day. That's my Sabbath. Okay, so I will never buy a plane ticket or bus ticket or schedule event on this on, on May 16. No, I'm going to avoid doing it on these days. This is going to be a Sabbath day. The next day after is first work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, the seventh day. That's the Sabbath day. Thursday. Sabbath will be on Thursday, May. Ninth, Thursday, May 9th. Thursday, May 9th, uh, May, May uh, 23rd. That's your Sabbath. I keep my Sabbath right. So I will never do anything, schedule anything on these days. How am I able to know that Sabbath days will be on these days? Because based on when the first crescent of the moon comes out, the next day I start counting. So like here now, this is a Sabbath. This will be a Sabbath day. We keep our Sabbath. The moon will look full. The next day I continue. First work day. I can schedule something here. I can schedule something here. I can schedule a party here. I can schedule traveling here. I can schedule something on these days. First work day. Second work day. Third work day. Fourth work day. Fifth work day. Sixth work day. On all of these working days, I can schedule something. I can schedule something on this day. This second day, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day. That's why the Most High say you have six days to do all your work. But on this seventh day, like for example, first work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, the seventh day. That's May 30th, 2024. This brother right here is not going to schedule anything in all of these days. If I'm thinking of traveling, I will try to travel around somewhere around here just to be safe. And I like to give myself a day before the Sabbath or a day after the Sabbath. It's very stressful. Let me tell you something, my brothers and sisters. This is this is going to be part of our life, you know, making sure that we don't travel on the Sabbath. It's, it can be very stressful if you travel and get to a location. The next day is the Sabbath day. It can be very, very stressful. So let's say, for example, you know, you travel on this day. Then you arrive on this day. And the next day after is the Sabbath. I don't like it. Me, personally, I don't like to do it. I see, it's, it's, I see for me it's, it's very stressful. So let's say that this is Sabbath, right? Sabbath day. And then after the Sabbath day, this is the first work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day. And then you get into a plane and you travel. Then you get to your destination the next day. Then the day after is the Sabbath. I hate that. I hate it because, you know, you can't do anything. As soon as you land, before you know it, it's night time. You will not be able to do anything on this Sabbath day except for worship. You know, it can be very stressful. Me personally, I like, to, if I'm traveling, I like to do it the day after the Sabbath or the day after. So let's say this is the Sabbath. I will travel like on this day. I will travel on this day. On the second, second, second work day. First work day, second work day. This is the Sabbath right here, right here. So I will travel on, on here. This is always a good time to travel because if you're traveling even internationally, even if you're traveling international, you leave on this day. You arrive on this day. You still have work days, these days, to do what you need to do. 
before the Sabbath will come. You leave, you, it's always good. Me, I prefer to travel, I prefer to travel the day, if possible, the day after Sabbath. If possible, the day after Sabbath. Or the day after that. Why? Because I want to be able to arrive on this day. I still have this day and this day and this day before the Sabbath will come. So in that way, if you have to stay in a hotel, you can go stay in a hotel. If you have to do whatever you need to do, you have three days. You can do whatever you need to do before the Sabbath will come. So, so, so if you're traveling to a different place, by the time that the Sabbath will come, you already have at least two or three days to, to settle down. You know, settle down. By the time the Sabbath come, you are already all set. Settle down. But if you travel and then you land the day before the Sabbath, it can be very stressful. The next day is the Sabbath day. It can be very, very stressful. You know? So, that's basically how it works. You can do this from your phone with an app. I can go over to... Um, this is good for those who have a job. If you have your job and you have a career where they are asking you where you... Um, in your job, they are asking you to, um, you know, to give them a schedule of when your Sabbath days are going to be. You can do this too. So this is July 2024. July 2024. July, the month of July 2024. That's what we're looking at right now. It's still the same thing. Same process. Same system, same process, same system. Nothing different from what we've done already. Same thing that we did earlier on. The same thing that you do. Nothing different right here. Same thing. Okay, so July 2024. Um, again, all I'm looking for is first crescent of the moon. When does it come out? Okay, so I'm looking. First crescent of the moon seems like it's going to come out uh, right here. It seems like it will come out right here. Okay, if it comes out here, then I start counting the, the day after. If it comes out right here, on right here, it's, it comes the day after. It, it's really that simple. It's not complicated. It's very easy to uh, to understand. It's very easy to 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 follow. This is August 2024. August 2024. I'm looking for the first crescent. It seems like the first crescent will come out on the 5th of August. Right here. So, uh, if it comes out here, if the first crescent of the moon comes out, then the next day I start counting. First work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, the seventh day. So that's, that'll be my Sabbath. What is this? That's Mondays. Monday, August 5th, 2024. My first crescent of the moon will come out right here. First tiny crescent of the moon. I, don't, I know you can't see it, but it's very, very small. Very, very small. Very, very small. Right here. Very tiny. So, August 2024, the first crescent of the moon comes out on August 5th. I'm not going to count it as a work day. That's a new moon day. This is a new moon day. 
So what do I do? I start counting my work day the day after. New moon comes out here. First crescent of the moon comes out. First tiny crescent of the moon comes out. The next day is the first work day. Second work day. Third work day. Fourth work day. Fifth work day. Sixth work day. The seventh day. That's your Sabbath right there. The Sabbath will be on Monday. August. Monday. August 12th. That's a Sabbath. Sabbath will be on Mondays. You keep your Sabbath. Next day you go to work. First work day. Second work day. Third work day. Fourth work day. Fifth work day. Sixth work day. The seventh day. That's a Sabbath. So if I'm traveling or doing any business, I do it right here. Event. Wedding. Burial. Feast. Party. Traveling. All of those things you can do here and avoid these Mondays because this will be the Sabbath. That will be the Sabbath. Next day you go to work, first work day, second work day, third work day, fourth work day, fifth work day, sixth work day, then the seventh day. So nothing on these Mondays. Why? Because the first crescent of the moon came out on Monday. Monday to Monday 5th. Monday the 5th. First crescent of the moon came out here. And you count it from the day after. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a Sabbath day. Seven days after the new moon day. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Seven days. Starting from right here. This is new moon. Then seven days after. It's your Sabbath. Your seven days starts from here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm not going to schedule anything on this Monday. This will be the Sabbath days. I know this because I see the first crescent of the moon came out on this. And I know that the day after I start counting. So no traveling, none of those things, no buying or selling on these Sabbath days. That is how you how you know this. Um, does anybody have any question, my brothers and sisters? Anybody has any question? No, brother, I don't. I think you explained it very, very well. Thank you very, very much. I appreciate it. All praises to the most high. All praises, all praises. So um, I did show you about percentage. You know, percentage, and I'm going to click on this, you know, like right here, this last example I gave you, as you can see, it's very tiny. All you're looking for is when does the, when does the first crescent of the moon come out? When will the first tiny crescent of the moon come out? That's all you're looking for. So if I click on this right here, you see, it says 1%. See? It says 1%. August 5th. 1%. And you can clearly see it. The day after, August 6th, 4%. So um, whether you're looking at it from the app, whether you're looking at it from the app or from, or from the website, it's still the same thing, basically. So I think I'm going to show you in order for, before we close, I will try to show it to you from the Lunar apps also from the phone. The lunar apps on the phone. I will try to show it to you from there. Because uh, I showed you this from the moon giant. Somebody please mute your mic. Please mute your mic, please. So uh, I'm going to show you this from from the from the phone, uh, so you can see how it look, what it looks like uh, from from the lunar lunar apps on the phone. I think it's important to to include that also. So. Um, all you're looking for, you see that the day before, 
there's no moon it's dark so you're looking for the first crescent here you can clearly see is zero percent august 4th zero percent what matters is this one when the first crescent of the moon comes out one percent as you can see then you start counting from the day after you count from the day after you know you count from here um so we we see that right here august first of august uh, first of august or the fifth of august is one percent fifth of august one percent that's right here but the day before zero percent so you now count um from the day after if the first crescent of the moon comes out here you count from the day after first work day second work day third work day fourth work day fifth work day sixth work day the seventh day so all these days will be avoided for traveling for event because these are holidays these are holidays and it'll be mondays so i'm going to try and see if i can show you from my phone also so let's switch over we're going to switch over and i'll try to to show you from my phone uh from the lunar apps on the phone the one that we use on our phone that you can download also the lunar apps on the phone so uh we're going to switch over now and i will show you uh, continuing from my phone and show you the same thing all right so for those of us who are using using our phones this is my phone and i'm going to show this from my from the lunar app on my phone so you are most likely using the lunar app the moon phase app most likely you have that on your phone most likely so um so in that case as you can see on my on my screen i have the moon phase app right here that's the one that is most dancing right now the app dancing on my phone on the top left hand corner that app dancing right there that's my moon phase app the phases of the moon app it's available for iphone it's free it's also available for android because i think there's many of them on android i recommend this app i have it and i've been using it for years so you can also use this app this app to be able to know when the um you can use this app to know ahead of time when the sabbath days are going to be in order to make your schedule up to plan your event so i'm going to click on this app so um i assume that you can see that all, all the screen is covered or is it tiny just to make sure it's it's large it's nice and large okay thank you so so of course when you open the app this is what you see it shows you what the moon is currently doing at the moment that's exactly what you see depending on where you are when you open the app it shows you the size of the moon so now if i want to find out about january let's say january 2020 2021 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. if i if i click or touch on on the date if i touch on the date it takes me to the month i click here december january 2022 say i'm thinking of traveling or planning an event like we did earlier all i'm looking for is the first crescent of the moon in january when will the first crescent of the moon be i can easily see right now that first crescent of the moon will be on monday the third monday third of january from what i can see here the first crescent of the moon will be on monday the third of january so if i click it right here monday january third 
So it's actually much easier to do this from your phone than from the website that we did it earlier, from moongiant.com. Very easier to do it, much easier to do it with your phone. So, um, January, say I'm traveling or doing something, I come here to this app, I look at January, I'm looking for when the first crescent of the moon will come out. And I see it right here, January the third. I said, okay, no problem. I see it's January third. So all I have to do now is to um, is to count from the day after, which is January fourth, first work day. I don't know if I'll be able to do it the way I did on my um, on on the computer. So January fourth is the first work day. January 5th, second work day. January 6th, third work day. January 7th, Friday, fourth work day, and so on and so forth. So if I count from January 4th, that will be in a, the first work day. January 4th, four, number four, fourth. January 4th is the first work day. So I'm going to count January 4th as one, and I will count to seven. Starting from January 4th, I will count to seven. Starting from January 4th. One, two, okay, one, January 4th, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So January the 10th will be the first Sabbath. The 10th of January will be the first Sabbath. Why? because the first crescent of the moon came out on January the 3rd. So seven days after that, starting from the day after, starting from January, Tuesday, January 4th, I start counting from there. And that will, put, that will make my Sabbath to be, the next Sabbath to be on, on Monday, Monday, January 10th. That will be a Sabbath day. I observe the Sabbath, the moon is going to look kind of half. The next day, Tuesday, January 11th, is the first work day. First work day. I walk for six days, starting from January the 12th, January 11th. Tuesday, January 11th, I start my work day. I walk for six days. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will be January, Monday, January 17th, will be the second Sabbath of the month, and the moon will look half or full. I keep my Sabbath. Next day, January 18th, I go to work. Work for six days, rest on the seventh day, January the 24th. So I now know that the purpose of doing this is because I'm trying to schedule an event. Or I'm trying to travel. Because the first crescent of the moon came out in January 3rd, I will not do anything in all those Mondays. All those Mondays. Monday, January 3rd. Monday, January 10th. Monday, January 17th. Monday, January 24th. I can schedule something on Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I can travel on Saturday, January 15. I can travel on Saturday, January 22nd. I can buy and sell and cook on Saturday because it's not a Sabbath day. I can schedule stuff in every one of these days. But on Monday, January 10, that's a Sabbath. Monday, January 17, that's a Sabbath. Monday, January 24, that's a Sabbath. How do I know all this? I know all this because I can see that the first crescent of the moon came out on Monday, January the 3rd. And the day after, I start counting. I count seven days. That's a Sabbath. So if the first crescent of the moon comes out today, then Sabbath day will be seven days after today. So from tomorrow, you start counting. 
If, if today is a new moon day, when the first crescent of the moon came out, tomorrow you start counting. You count seven days. That will be one week from today. I can go to the next month, February, and I'm, I can do the same thing. As soon as I come to February, I'm looking, trying to see when the first crescent will come out. I see that Tuesday, the, the first of February, looks like that will be when the first crescent of the moon will come out. That's what I'm, what I'm seeing here. I'm looking at when is the first crescent. I see February, Tuesday, February 1st. I touch on that. It says 1%. And the moon will be seen that day. So that seems to be the new moon day. Tuesday, January or February 5th, or February 1st. Tuesday, January 1st. The 1st of February, sorry, the 1st of February, Tuesday, 1st of February. That will be, um, that will be the, the new moon day. So I start counting the day after. Wednesday, January, Wednesday, January, um, is, uh, February 2nd, sorry. February 2022, Wednesday, the 2nd of February. That's the first work day of the week. I work for six days. I rest on the seventh day. That will be on the 8th, 8th of the 8th of uh, February. So the Sabbath will be on the 8th of February, February 8th. 2021 or 2022 that would be a sabbat so all you need to know is or look for is the first crescent of the moon then you the next day you start counting you count seven days that's your sabbat so in this case february 2022 i will not schedule anything on all these mondays on these mondays or this tuesday sorry this Tuesday, because Sabbath will be on Tuesday, February 8th. That is the first Sabbath. Tuesday, seven days later, Tuesday, February 15th, that will be a Sabbath day. Tuesday, February 22nd, that will be a Sabbath day. I will not schedule anything on these days. How do I know that this will be the Sabbath day? Because on the 1st of February, Tuesday 1st of February was when the first crescent of the moon came out. This is the new moon day. This is the first tiny crescent of the moon. That's the new moon. First crescent of the moon. The day after, I start my count. So I could literally do this for every one of these months. If I'm doing something in March, same thing. As soon as I come to March, I'm looking. I'm looking. I see here. That Thursday, March 3rd, Thursday, March 3rd, that's when the first crescent of the moon will come out. Because the previous day, Wednesday, March 2nd, the moon will be dark. See, 0%. So it doesn't count. Because when the moon is 0%, you will not be able to see it. When the moon is 0%, you will not be able to see it. So as I see this, as I'm looking at this, I see, okay. I go back, I see that the first crescent of the moon will come out on Thursday. Thursday, uh, the 3rd of February, or 3rd of March, sorry. Thursday, March 3rd. Thursday, March 3rd, right here. Thursday, March 3rd, 2022. The moon is 1%. That's when the first crescent of the moon will come out. The next day, Friday, the 4th, the 4th of March, Friday, March 4th is the first work day of the week. First work day of the week it will be on Friday, March the 4th. Second work day of the week will be on Saturday, March 5th. Third work day of the week will be on Sunday. March the 6th. 
and so on and so forth until you get to to the 10th of March. The 10th of March will be a Sabbath day, the first Sabbath of the month, 10th of March. That's seven days after the new moon day. New moon day is on third of March, Thursday, third of March. That's when the first crescent of the moon come out because the first crescent of the moon comes out on the evening of the new moon day. The next day you go to work, you start counting. So I can clearly see that, okay, I'm not going to put anything on Thursday. The 10th of, 10th of March, Thursday, 17th of March, Thursday, 24th of March, I will not put anything in these days. And Thursday, Thursday, 31st of March, I will avoid these days. I can schedule something in any other day. I can travel in any other day. But these days, I will avoid. This is how it goes, and so on and so forth, and so on and so forth. It's really that simple. It's not complicated. It's very, very easy to do. Um, you, you'll be able to identify when the Sabbath days are going to be. It's not 100% accurate. It's not 100%, like as I said, not 100% accurate at all. But it's about 90%. About 90% accurate. And with this system, you can you can peacefully, peacefully plan your event. Plan your event, plan your travel, having the peace of mind, knowing that that day will not be on the Sabbath day. So all praises to our Heavenly Father. Uh, please, does anybody have any question or something relating to this before we close? All right, so uh, particularly to those or to you who is watching online, if you do have any question, I do encourage you to please feel free to contact me. If you have any question relating to this and something is not clear, you didn't really understand it, or something stood out that doesn't make sense, or something that you did not understand, you're more than welcome to call the number and feel free to contact me. Um, I do recommend downloading this Lunar app. It's free of charge. It helps you to see what the moon looks like if you are not able to see the moon if you are not able to see the moon in your area it helps you to be able to see what the moon looks like at the moment no matter where you are you are able to see uh, see the face of the moon and see what the moon looks like in your area just in case if you have cloud coverage or if it's raining i also do recommend a website called moonsighting.com moonsighting.com you can just simply google it that website is very useful because if you happen to if you are not able to see the moon if you cannot see the moon on the new moon day if you are not able to see the moon on the new moon day you can actually go to that website moonsighting.com and check it out you will be able to see reports from people from different parts of the world they have people in more than 50 countries more than 200 people in more than 50 countries that report to that website moonsighting.com that's the name of the website it's not my website not my own i have no idea who owns it but it's very useful, very, very useful. Moonsighting.com for those days when you are not able to see the moon because it's raining or you have a cloud coverage, check out moonsighting.com or the truth of Yahweh. And also go to the website called the truth of Yahweh slash uh, new moon. 
uh, new moon, the truth of Yahweh. Well, you can Google it. You can Google new moon report. If you Google new moon report, the second, the first or second link there is from the truth of Yahweh. That's a great website too. Again, I don't really know who owns that website, but it's, these are great tools that I use. And I'm also sharing with you because I think it's going to help you and make life a lot much easier as you travel in this journey. So all praises to our Heavenly Father. I give the most high all the glory and all the honor for opening our eyes to understand these things. I pray for more knowledge, more understanding, more wisdom. So for those who watch online, uh, I pray that this is helpful in terms of being able to go into the future and be able to know when the Sabbath days are going to be. So that when you make your schedule, when you plan, you are able to avoid having something scheduled to happen or to travel on a Sabbath day. Any month that you go in, any month that you go in, just look for when the first crescent of the moon will come out. And go to any month in these apps. Just see when is the first crescent of the moon coming out. That's all. When is that first tiny crescent coming out in that month? Seven days after that is your Sabbath. And the moon is typically the moon will look half. Typically, the moon will look full on those Sabbath days. So in that way, you are able to schedule and plan your event or your travel correctly. So all praises to our Heavenly Father. Give the Most High all the glory and all the honor for His love and His kindness for opening our eyes and teaching us His way. So um, pray that this is useful for those. I know if you're new to this, if you're still new, you might have questions or concerns or questions that you may have. You're not alone. You can always contact. I will try to answer your question questions as much as, as much as I can. So all praises to our Heavenly Father for, for His love and His kindness. For Thank you for your interest in this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us through WhatsApp. You can call us or send us a message. You can also email us at laws to God at gmail.com. Check out our website at www.lawstogodskingdom.com. Download our mobile app from the Android store. Search for Laws to God app. You can also find us on Facebook. Just search for Laws to God. Don't forget. You can also use Skype to call us. Just download Skype on your phone and search for Laws to God. If you are in South Africa and you need a congregation to worship with, give us a call. For more information that we don't have here on YouTube, please download our app and check out our website www dot laws to God's kingdom dot com help us spread this truth by sharing this video on your social media